Hey guys, I went to Harbor Freight and I bought these 3 by 21 sanding belts. I actually have a couple of belt sanders that these fit and I use them. But I wanted a sanding block. So I saw this neat idea of taking a 2 by 4 making a sanding block. Took the sanding block and made it square. Cut it to the same width as the belt pad. Now I need to cut it to 9 and 5 eighths. I'll do that on my miter saw. So I went and cut it. Obviously it's a recycled board. I'm not sure a sanding block needs to be made out of walnut. But it doesn't fit. So I need to round the corners. I'm use my router table to do that. Okay, will it fit? No, and it's not supposed to. I rounded the corners, but it's not supposed to fit yet. Drilled a relief hole here so that if this splinters, it won't continue past that. I then drilled another hole here, and I cut a slot so that this can compress to get the sanding belt on. Then you put a pin in there to separate it back out and hold it, and that will allow it to stretch and hold the sanding block, and then the sanding block works. There we go. Works great. So I need to cut that hole. I'm going to do that on a bandsaw. Went to the drill press, drilled a relief hole, and enough to put a quarter 20 bolt in, and that's going to be plenty. So there's a quick sanding pad. I'm a 2 by 4 and a 3 by 21 sanding belt. The plan's called for 3 8 and 3 8 I did a quarter, quarter, so that I could use a bolt instead of a wooden pin. But you can drill it for a wooden pin just as easy. So I made two of these. One of these is an 80, one's a 120. So now I can sand about anything I want to. Expect to get a lot of use out of that. A lot less complicated than uh, a lot of them that I've done. If you liked the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.